So I have some news for you guys. And it's quite ironic. Um, as we know that Koji Sujitani, the voice of Moroku for the original Japanese language for Inuyasha, uh, did pass away, you know, a few years ago. And for Yashihime, they had to get a new voice um, who sounds pretty similar, just a little deeper. Um, as for Kirby Morrow, uh, apparently yesterday, which this is very ironic, I was just looking him up because I know that he voiced Goku too, and I was looking up his autograph because I have some of the English and Yasha voice actors' autograph, and I saw there was someone was selling a signed Kirby Morrow uh, manga, you know, the first appearance of Moroku, and so I had it on my, I added it to my watch list. And it's ironic because there was two things that I added on my watch list that were signed by Kirby, Kirby Morrow yesterday. And I have a couple people that have him added on Facebook and some of them know his family. Sorry, I'm nervously cracking my knuckles because of this. He died at 47 yesterday. Kirby Morrow. The same day I was looking him up. And I don't know. I know We know that he recorded for Yashihime episode one we know that and the sad part is people talk shit about how he voiced like we know that he sounded deeper but it was probably voice direction you know we're doing what we can during covid and i know a lot of people after they find this out they're gonna feel like shit for talking crap about him and doing his voice for yashahime um it was confirmed by us by a member, and a couple of the other Yashihime voice actors have posted about this, including the English voice actor of Toa on Twitter, Erica Mendez, has also posted about this as well. He died yesterday by the age of 47, and his family actually announced this today. Um, he was Captain Dave Kleinman um, <clears throat> from Daedalus which was a recurring recur role on Stargate Atlantis. I've never watched it before, but I've seen pictures. I know it's popular. Um, he was credited as uh, smaller roles in Stargate SG-1. He was a militia man in the first season of episode Korai, and he played Jaffa in season five's mm -hmm. The Warrior. Um, and, you know... He was one of the... He was the Canadian dubs Goku. He did the Canadian version voice of Goku for, I think, the majority out of the three that I know of. Um, so he's quite well known as Goku as well, and especially as Moroku and many of his other roles. Um, but yeah, I'm... I remember a couple years ago when Koji Sujitani passed away, and he was married to the Japanese voice of Shippo, um, at this moment, I don't know if he recorded for the later episodes of Yashihime. I have no idea. We'd have to ask, but, um, because we know the Arhat, the Arhat, um, little short dialogue. There's a chance he might have done that already. If we're lucky, he did that, but I don't know. But anyways, yeah, it's, I kind of just was like, I was just thinking about him and his Goku roles, and I was looking up his autograph and stuff the other day, but, um, I have some of my Moroku stuff out to share with you guys, um, just because, you know, of what happened, um, since the last time when Koji died, I, I actually announced it with my Moroku statue, um, there's no details about right now of how he passed away, um, but that his brother came out and said it. And uh, his brother, Casey, posted the news on social media saying that the family doesn't have yet further details. But this is what Casey wrote. He said, Kirby was blessed and talented individual who brought joy to so many, but also thrived off of all of your love and friendship. He lived for it and, and fueled him. it fueled him every day. Yeah, he was born in Alberta, Canada in 1973. He trained at Mount Royal University in Calgary in his acting career. career. <clears throat> Morrow tallied nearly, nearly 200 credits, according to IMDb. 
but he was Cyclops in X-Men Evolution, Goku in Dragon Ball, Moroku, Michelangelo in Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. He was Tony Stark in the miniseries Ultimate Wolverine vs. Hulk and the Eternals. Hotshot in Transformers, Cybertron. He had reoccurring live-action roles in, on Supergirl and Legion. And he provided the voice of Cole in the Lego Ninjago TV series. And he wrote and directed for the 2005 short, The Boxing Day Classic. Um, regular convention goer. Never got the chance to meet him, unfortunately. That was something that I had hoped to do in the future. But I know that so many... So many people got to meet him. Uh, I know that he seemed to be pretty close with the uh, other cast of Inuyasha. Like, they all knew each other. And um, I remember watching his videos about Dragon Ball Z. and Because I, I know about Dragon Ball Z as well. And I thought he was a great... Uh, one of the great um, Gokus. I liked all the Gokus, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is the little bad plushie. That I had. Um, and I have. Moroku's beads. It is heartbreaking. And I, I can't think of. They're gonna. If they didn't dub for. The second appearance of Moroku. Which was a flashback with Setsuna. Um, episode 8 is going to be airing soon as well. And that supposed to show some kind of flashback with Moroku not no I don't know if the flashback he'll talk in that one as well with Takechio um at least an appearance of Moroku and some kind of flashback but I, we don't know if he'll have dialogue there either so I don't I just like I want to know the details like what happened a lot of us want to know I'm just kind of like I'm fucking so shocked right now. Like, I remember when uh, Koji died and I was bawling my eyes out. And now it's like, is this like the wind tunnel curse? Is it, is Moroku like a cursed role now? You know, he just recorded those lines for Yashihime and people, people talk shit. Like, sound like, oh, he's, he's smoker Moroku. Like, yeah, that's kind of a funny joke. But like, at the same time, you also have to realize that on a serious note that you know it's voice direction too there could be many reasons like maybe they had him sound deeper because maybe the character is supposed to sound deeper i'm sorry my cat um <laughs> he's not very happy either he's hyper um because since i assume that they changed the voice direction of kirby moro and yoshihime because of the new moroku the new Japanese Moroku sounded deeper, so that's what I assume, that they wanted to match the current Japanese. But at the same time, at the very end, he sounded more like the common um, voice lines of Moroku, like in the previous episode, like War, how he had sound um, like the majority of time. To be honest with you, I was going to be doing the episode reviews today, um, but this came out first because of the urgent news that just came out. I don't know. It just... Oh, God. It's just horrible. A lot of us are, like, super shocked right now. And I am as well as most of us. It's just, like, blown up, you know? That... I'm I'm happy that... I want to be completely honest with you. That I'm really happy that he got to do... Um, the first episode of Yashihime, and I'm hoping he got to do the other line, but, you know, what, it is what it is, and I think that a lot of people who probably were angry about how Moroku sounded in Yashihime episode one English dub, like, genuinely, like, not as a sarcastic joke, that people are probably gonna, like, feel like shit after that, because, you know, it was just... <clears throat> uh. Uh. YouTube sound died. All 
Are you able to hear me now? Let me know if you guys can hear me. I'm kind of rambling. Sorry. I'm like, I was kind of like rambling. Um... Yeah, he had a really beautiful voice. I'm just like in complete shock right now. I like had my headphones on and like not realizing it. Like, what the heck am I doing wearing headphones on? Yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us grew up with his voice. We're all just really shocked right now. like um I can only imagine what the rest of the cast that knew him personally as well or that had worked with him are feeling right now it's like a it almost feels like a, a cursed role like a like a wind tunnel kind of role that it's just bizarre to me I mean things happen but it's just bizarre you know that the other just a couple years back that Koji Koji passed away and um Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm really wanting to know what the heck happened. Like, was it... Um, I think with Koji, when Koji Sujitani died, I think that that was a heart attack, if I remember correctly. And, um, so, get this. Koji Sujitani died October 17, 2018. And Kirby Morrow died today, November 9th. No, yesterday. Yesterday, November 18th, 2020. That's bizarre. Two years. Two year difference, but... Damn near a month apart. Really thirsty. Just really thirsty. <clears throat> I wonder... Casey Morrow... Where he posted that on... Um, social media... Yeah, I'm, I'm really wondering if the other, like, I know that the Yashahime voice actors came out, like, um, Erica came out, uh, and mentioned it, but I'm wondering what they're gonna do now, you know, like, is the timeline, is it gonna take longer for them to get a replacement voice actor, is the English dub gonna be stalled, or did he do that line already, you know? Because obviously it was just like a short one line um, for at least that episode. But, you know, obviously they're going to probably have more appearances in the future. But hopefully it all um, gets resolved. But I feel really bad. Like, I feel like crap right now. I was like gonna going to nervously start brushing my hair with a hat on. Just thinking about it. Like, so nervous about it. But... Yeah, if anyone got to meet him, um, I'm sure you guys know, like, from the videos that I've seen that he was, like, really outgoing, really funny guy. He seemed, like, really nice from the get-go. Yeah, I'm just shocked right now. That both of them are gone. Like, who's going to be the replacement actor and how their family's coping with it, you know? Condolences to the family, and I'm just, I feel, like, really glad that he did that first episode. At least I'm, like, 
regardless of the voice direction, regardless of whatever people thought of it. Like, oh, he sounded like a smoker. Like, you know, it was voice direction. There could be many reasons why. As long as it was the original voice actor, that's what I was happy about, you know. As long as he got the chance to reprise for that, that's something that's meaningful to me. I was I was happy regardless. Which really sucks. Anyways, I'm going to get off here, but, um, you know, once the statement comes out about what happened, you know, I'll probably post it on here on social media and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he got those lines in, um, because they, the episodes that we've seen so far, the Moroku flashback seem to have just such a, a short line, but I'm just glad that he got to do the first episode. I'm happy that that's what happened. <laughs> All right, but <clears throat> yeah, 2020, please go because uh, we just got back in shot uh, like lockdown again. I'm wondering, like, did he? die of covid is was it a heart attack you know was what kind of sickness was it like what happened it was just so it's like a feels like a like a cursed role you know sometimes there's like times that people kind of like link things together with a certain actor in their role and then i i've heard things about like the haunted roles that whoever did the same character was a replacement actor, something bad happened to them too. It's just, it's just like bizarre that that happened. Like the wind tunnel got to him, like for real. <laughs> That's so messed up. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna be getting off here. I have work in a couple hours. Yep, rest in peace to Koji Sujitani and Kirby Moro. Alright, you guys. Just hang in there. Um, hoping that his family can get through this and that we can all kind of get through this. Um, I know I'll probably be watching his videos and stuff and probably like bawling about it, but I'm... I just want to say, like, how grateful I was to at least hear him again. Like, regardless of people making fun of him, regardless of the voice direction, you at least it was him um, that got to do it. And, yeah, I know. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Um, I will be in the group. I will still be posting on social media. Um, all right, yeah, rest in peace, Kirby Morrow.